quite a unique circuit. Can throw up strange results at times. But we also moved to a track like Barcelona where the tyre consumption is so great that it's also not a real race. It's really hard to gauge as a rider. You have to understand your rhythm. Physically, almost 100%. I had a good test here a few weeks ago, so body's still a bit tender. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've high-sided a bike, uh, never mind twice in a week. But just tried to leave Australia so behind. I'm still high, I'm just anyway. Yeah, he does talk a bit. Oh, sorry. There we go. Do you know? Oh, I can't tell. Fucking, I he's on. This is really bad. Can't make it to the vlog. This is definitely not vlog worthy. Well, you know when everyone talks about guilty pleasures? How bad's that? <laughs> it's wrong, isn't it? You can't put that on because my wife will know exactly who and what. Yeah, it's not bad. About. <laughs> better, no? Yeah. Yes, a little <laughs> bit better. Be so so. Yeah? yeah? I feel okay to be fast, but to be really fast? When I put new tyre, it's still coming. Uh, excited to start. It's our first um, European round of the season. Feels like it's my second home, Barcelona, so a very small commute from, from home. Um, it's a nice track. We had the added, added benefit of testing here last week, so already we feel ahead of the race weekend. I'm excited to see how it plays out. It's a tough and demanding circuit, both for the rider and also the machine and tires, so we need to really nail that perfect setup to be, to be fast and consistent throughout the race. Alright, we're done. Alright. Very private media debrief. Sweet. Nice and uh sit down. We're not gonna be long, are we? What did you change between Australia and Barcelona? Why are you now competitive? Yeah, your observations were true. Uh, you know, I was quite clear in Australia that I was unhappy with um, our reality. My confidence was quite down, especially after the the hard crash on Tuesday. You know, I entered the weekend struggling to walk without pain. I love this bike. I, from the first day I rode it in Jerez, I told everybody how excited I was, but I still haven't. You know when the guys, they put new tires and sometimes you go and, you know, grit your teeth and make the lap time. I still feel that feeling of complete understanding and uh, it's, it's step by step arriving. Come on AP, do it for the camera, let's have a look. How do we look? New eyewear by Oakley. The benefits of uh, having JR in the team. 10 metres that, from the, the start of that to the, to the end. Speed's in the braking area then, more or less. 
tracks mint. I mean, we were here last week, so uh, they painted a lot of it again. Um, but it's good, they're doing a lot of work here. You'll see a lot of the infrastructure is like new. It's not the one of the newest circuits, Barcelona, so they're, they're modernizing it, so it's pretty cool. But it's not finished yet, so there's lots of, uh, lots of sign and workers still working up to the last minute. No, I, I have a, a mark on the track. Yeah. It's like a small black line. It's a weird breaking marker. Track walk done, AP. All satisfied. In the bank. What did we learn? Did we learn anything new? Did we just put a bit, a bit of fitness? A bit of fitness more than anything. We learned most of what we needed to learn uh, a few days ago, so a bit of a social track walk today. Barcelona is not actually in Spain, it's a country unrecognized as Catalan. Very good, right? Catalonia, sorry. It is recognized. It's definitely recognized. Yeah, but not globally. He knows. He knows. <laughs> Most people used the qualifying tyre this morning, the SCQ, to build the qualifier. I didn't, so when I used it in the first time, I don't think I made the maximum out of it. So I'm actually starting in fifth row on P13, which is a disaster, you know, because here's about track position, trying to conserve the tyre. Lap time from lap one to the end can be as much as two seconds. And if you drop here, it's very hard to maintain the lap time. So the idea is just to not drop off a cliff really. Remember to like get at the apex in one and maybe you know in out in T3 to pick up a bit more and the stress a bit less in the real time. Disaster. Don't really know where to start. Really, um, I felt like I fried the clutch on the start. Um, I have to shoulder some of the blame, but I just kept trying to push the lever down to find like the gear engaging, and there was nothing. And all of a sudden, I took off in fourth and completely fried the clutch. Do you know the God's honest truth? I tried to start in fourth gear. Yeah. What? Well, I went to go to first, like down, it's first downfield, and I felt like the dogs just hit and it didn't engage, like I just didn't feel a reaction. So I went again, got second, launch control, it's like fuck, it's gone through the, it's gone through the launch control, it's like in neutral. So I'm like trying to fucking hit the gearbox to like feel something engaging. Nothing, didn't even feel any connection, and then next thing, I hate that feeling, especially in the start. Well, the worst thing is, well, the best thing is actually got fucking momentum in fourth gear. You imagine if it stalls. So yeah, but a bit embarrassing from me, but uh, oh, Friday clutch, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so it's, it's my fault, but fuck. I actually beat JR today. Somehow. What happened? <laughs> and I finished. I don't know, 17, 18. You should have done a race run at the test, shouldn't you? I don't understand why, but uh, the last four laps are uh, shit. Yeah. Maybe too much at the beginning. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe.
face of Remy Garner. Remy, how are you doing, doing here? Good to be here, a lot of people here. Yeah. Following a bit of a show oh, off for Instagram. Like shit. And then just hit yeah. me first. <laughs> Genuinely. Yeah. Oh, no. no. <laughs> where, where are you going? Nega or the Boston? No, no, no. You going? Are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone, is he? He's gone. Disaster. What's happening, mate? Good job on the vlogs, mate. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, check out Gear Girl off uh, YouTube. You know. <laughs> no, I watch all y'all's too. You guys get them out pretty quick. It's impressive. Good try, mate. So, hey, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. What's the plan for the weekend? I uh, go faster, dude. I'm so. Uh, I'm embarrassed, honestly. My bike won today, and I'm. In 12, 19 seconds back. I mean, honestly, I'm in awe, dude. I, top back's a legend, for real. I, I see the data and I don't understand what, how he does it. So, yeah, hard to uh, swallow. Hard pill to swallow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, disaster, man. Can't catch a break because we had uh, a plan to test something this morning. Um, but yeah, the conditions are a disaster. You know, it's, it's been like not raining but mizzling all morning, so for sure all the curbs will be wet. Um, Tracks might be a bit damp, so it means we can't really get down to the lap time. But there's no wind to dry the track, so. Um, Conserve the tire a little bit too much in the middle. I expected the guys to come back to me and they did, but just not at the rate that to pass. But a second and a half off the top five, it's a start. It's a start. Solid ride. Good job, Avro. Yesterday was a step. Yeah, I um, destroyed the clutch on the start. I actually selected the wrong gear. Well, I didn't feel the gear engage. And then I went again, didn't feel any gear, went again, and I was starting in third and fourth gear. Yeah, disaster. So I, I f fucked the clutch straight away. So, what is the feeling? Uh, coming, or... coming, yeah? coming. Struggled here, especially starting P13, you know, when you don't take the good train, you're in, yeah. and pff, there, he's aggressive, you know, you've been, in race one yesterday. It's hard, eh, to, in that middle area. Unless you can pass free and good, it's so hard. Yeah. But we'll arrive. Okay. See you, man. <laughs> 